to day 31 and I just went outside to throw. You know how I do this, right? I'll show you. I'll take you with me. Oh, I cannot tell you how much effort it requires me to walk from the kitchen to the porch. <laughs> it's so much effort. I could easier hike, I could more easily hike the fucking unimportant circuit. I'm telling you. So I'm throwing this out, right? I'm like, oh, it's nice outside. You know, I, maybe I should leave my cave. Maybe I should stop being such a hermit. You know, go out, Gabby, do the sunset walk. I mean, you know, my first 14 days here, I think I was at the beach 11 times. So like almost every day for sunset, twice for sunrise, like, you know, the beach it was part of my healing to walk, to move, to see if I could be mindful. So I, you know, just threw out my first, I just had my second small cantaloupe. I threw out the cantaloupe and I thought, oh, I'm in so much um, body fatigue. Like just to walk from the puzzle, the, the 10 steps to the kitchen or from the kitchen all the way, you know, to the computer, or all the way to the, to the phone because I see that that some, want, someone from my family is leaving me a WhatsApp message. See, it's uploading right now. And I'm really excited to see it. And like, just the effort to walk inside of this tiny house, I'm like, oh, you know, like I wanted to eat the cantaloupe on the porch. And I'm like, oh, too much to walk all the way up there. And I realized, Gabby, just let yourself relax. I mean, Miranda had told me something really powerful. She talked about someone forgot who this was, but some man who had come last year to Dharamsala who had very bad um, um, scoliosis. And when he stood, he almost looked normal. When he sat, he practically laid down. She said he had 10 bones off or something like that. And she said that they broke him for two months. He would walk like to the training center, wherever they said it was. She said it was like 1,050 steps just to get to the place where you do the exercise. And she said for two months, we broke him. We worked his ass off. And then she said she talked to him like two years later and she, he said he had not done a single time stretching in those two years and he was totally fine. Like, she's like, when it's fixed, it's fixed. Which these stories are really inspirational to me. And I was like, well, should I be doing more? You know, should I walk in the afternoon to do stretches? Should I come to a second exercise class? And she's like, Gabby, you're fine. We are very happy with the pace at which you're going. You're fine. And I realized like just today, I did an hour and a half of stretching class at 11. I had neck tendon. And like that hour and a half, like I'm, I'm like, like limping from room to room. And I just want to get in bed and I just want to lie down and watch Once Upon a Time. And I just need to just chill. Like I'm like, she said that what basically you do is, is, is we're creating space. And in order to create space, we have to break. Um, and that's tearing, that's really hard work. So I just like bowing down to the to, to great, gratefully acknowledge I don't have a family and kids here. I don't have to do anything. And the only effort I have to do is to somehow make it from this room to the fridge to get what I need and come back. And just allow myself to be exhausted. And enjoy that and bow to that and bow to that space because I really appreciate it. All right, maybe the SMS for my family came through. You know, especially moments when I really miss my family and then I hear Kobe's sexy voice. Hi. Ready to see? Okay, I'll see about my... No, okay, let's see. Let's see who it is. Ready? Hey, Gabchile, what's your name? Kobe. What's your name? How's your body? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Stretch because it's a big deal and very meaningful. Okay, I'll listen to it. Anyway, I love him. I'm so excited. I'm going to lie down because that's the energy level I'm at and listen to my message from my man. Bye, guys. Bye.